Yo, what's going on? Mike from Mike Talk Sports. In this Eastern Conference Finals showdown between the Miami Heat and the Boston Celtics, one of the keys to this series is how the role players play up against each other. And I believe the most intriguing role player matchup of this series is going to be Robert the Time Lord Williams against K Love, Kevin Love. Let me break down this matchup for you guys and predict who is going to get the better of which player. So first we have Robert Williams, the center on the Boston Celtics. Let me break down how he did in his last series up against the 76ers in that seven game war they just went through. In seven games, Robert Williams ended up cracking the starting lineup two times, which is very interesting. In those seven games that he ended up playing in this series, he averaged 21.2 minutes per game, 68% from the field. So extremely efficient, decisive, and smart. Every single time he gets the ball down low, he's either passing out an offensive rebound or he's simply putting up an easy shot. Robert Williams never takes bad shots out there. Five rebounds per game, 1.3 blocks per game, and 5.1 points per game. Now looking at Kevin Love and what he did in the New York Knicks series, in six games, he ended up starting all six games, 20 minutes per game, so basically the same as Time Lord there. 32% from the field really struggled from two-point arc in this series and really struggled from the three-point arc as well shooting only 24% from three on a pretty good sample size. 5.5 rebounds per game, so he actually out-rebounded Time Lord. 2.3 assists per game, one of the more underrated aspects of Kevin Love's game, has always been that great full-court passing ability and his ability to really hit the home run ball in terms of those full-court passes. And then six points per game, very similar to Time Lord. Now, looking at those numbers for Kevin Love, you're going, why is he going to play a vital role in this series? He did really bad up against the Knicks, and the Knicks still ended up not winning this series. Well, Kevin Love did phenomenal in the series before up against the Milwaukee Bucks, and I'm not quite sure if you want to rely on all of those other shooters if you're the Miami Heat. At some point, you're going to need some good Kevin Love games, especially up against this Boston Celtics team from a schematic standpoint. For me, why Kevin Love love is so important to this series is simply drawing the defense out onto the perimeter. You really need Jimmy Butler to have an open lane to operate in the paint and down low in this series or else the Miami Heat have absolutely zero shot at winning this series and Robert Williams is a phenomenal paint defender. Every single time Robert Williams, Kevin Love, and Jimmy Butler share the court together which is going to be for consistent significant stretches of this series. Robert Robert Williams game plan and his job out there is going to be to limit and stop the drives of Jimmy Butler. The key for the Miami Heat in this series to have Jimmy Butler get going in the paint is going to be Kevin Love drawing out those big men. Something that Robert Williams is not good at is perimeter defense, stepping out on perimeter shooters, especially big men, and really drawing him to the perimeter so his main strength is completely negated and taken away. Again, his main strength is that phenomenal paint defense. That's something that absolutely showed up in the 76ers series and was one of the bigger reasons why the Boston Celtics had such success down low against the 76ers. The 76ers really did not have a big man, a guy that Robert Williams was on to stretch out the paint, to stretch out the floor and really hit those perimeter shots. If Kevin Love ends up shooting 24, 25, 28, 30% From the three-point arc in this series, Robert Williams will still be content with not stepping up on him all the way and still guarding and shading Jimmy Butler when he ends up driving to the paint. It's so vital that Kevin Love hits his open shots. Not only does it generate good offense for the Miami Heat, but again, more importantly, it draws the defense out to the perimeter so Jimmy Butler can do Jimmy Butler things. So in my opinion, that's one of two places where Robert Williams and Kevin Love will go to war. Now, of course, the second area where these two will absolutely battle all series is the boards. It's so vital for both of these teams to win the rebounding battle. Both of these teams won the rebounding battle in their last series and was a significant reason why they are both in the Eastern Conference Finals. You have Robert Williams, a guy who has a reputation of being one of the best smaller big men in terms of getting rebounds, being that grit and grind player, putting his head down, putting his nose in the basketball, and really attract 
protecting the ball once it comes out off the rim and trying to get rebounds for his team. Whereas you have a guy in Kevin Love who was so notorious during his prime of being arguably the best rebounder in the entire NBA behind a guy like Andre Drummond in their prime in the mid-2010s. Kevin Love is one of the more underrated rebounders of all time. And as I said before, in two less minutes per game in the last series, Kevin Love averaged slightly more rebounds than Robert Williams. Make no mistake about it. Kevin Love in his prime absolutely washes the floor with Robert Williams on the boards. It's not even close. So let's see what a non-prime, out of his prime, older Kevin Love can do on the boards in this series. I'm so excited to watch Kevin Love versus Robert Williams down low. It's going to be such a technical battle in terms of positioning and boxing out their opponent. Thanks for listening, guys. Let me know in the comment section below who's a better rebounder right now in 2023 for this series, Kevin Love or Robert Williams. I'm very 50-50 up in the air. If I had to guess, I'm still giving the slight advantage to Kevin Love. And if I have to predict, I think Kevin Love is going to have two or three games in the series where he's shooting the three ball really well. But for the most part, I do think Robert Williams will get the best of him on the defensive end. And I think Robert Williams Williams is going to do a really good job of winning that perimeter defensive battle in order to really stay in his zone, stay in the paint, and guard Jimmy Butler. In my opinion, the Boston Celtics will end up getting this series done in six games. Let me know in the comment section below who will win this series. Thanks for listening, guys.